taking a look at the Rivian R1T, this bad boy. The R1T, as you can see, is an all-electric off-roading pickup truck. Now, this thing is super cool. It has a range of over 400 miles if you get the largest battery pack, which is 180 kilowatt hours. It can go up 45 degree slopes. It can tow 5,000 kilograms. That's over 11,000 pounds. So you can get your Airstream trailer, you can get a separate car. The R1T is designed mostly for off-roading. So you're not gonna be taking this to drop the kids off at the pool, although you totally could. There's plenty of room for all of their stuff. Now, what's really cool is that there is no engine in this car. All the four wheels have their own independent electric motors, which provide the power and the torque to allow you to you know, get around and move. Where the engine used to be is now a 330 liter space for storing your various stuff in the front of the car. They're calling it a front trunk or a frunk. I don't like that term, neither should you. Now, what you got behind this door here is a space that runs the entire width of the vehicle, allowing you to store oversized items like golf bags, surfboards, skis, that sort of thing. And because it's so low on the truck, that you can easily just pop that door, slide stuff in and out, no fuss, no muss. And then you still got it space in the back end itself for all of your other gear. In addition to granting you access to the underbody storage, this little door is reinforced strongly enough to allow you to sit on it or use it as a step to access the back end. Like other electric vehicles, the design of the front end has changed radically from what you'd expect from an old gas-powered car. You don't need the front grille, you don't need the air intake, you don't need the radiator, none of that stuff. So this frees up the designers to get a little creative with, with the front end of the vehicle. Now, when I first saw it, I was like, okay, this thing is a Wally -E ripoff. But the lights are actually really starting to grow on me. Another cool point is that in addition to having a cool front end that doesn't use a radiator or actually need to suck air in any sort of way, this bad boy can run through up to a meters deep worth of water. Now, obviously, if you're trying to cross a flooded bridge, you don't want to do that. Don't drown, turn around. Now, if you need to cross a stream to get to your favorite fishing spot or tow your boat all the way out into the lake before you unhooking it, you totally can with this. Because it's a battery powered system, it has immense amounts of torque. The R1T behind me will do zero to 60 in 2.8 seconds. It'll do zero to 100 in under seven seconds. That's ridiculous. That, that's like supercar fast, and you're doing it in a truck. And just because this truck is designed for off-roading doesn't mean the interior is gonna be absolutely bare bones. It's actually quite well appointed. You've got two information clusters, both of which are really just video screens, one in front of the driver's seat and the other one in the center console, which controls the climate, the music, and the navigation. And because it is meant for off-roading, the interior is designed to be easily cleaned. So you don't need to worry about your kids spilling juice boxes, Cheerios, those are gonna be the least of your worries when you're getting in, uh, getting in with boots full of mud, snow, dirt, and you got a wet dog in the back seat. The R1T also includes level three autonomy, which means that when you're on the freeway, you don't need to have your hands on the wheel or your eyes on the road. This is cool because A, when you're on the freeway, you don't have to pay attention quite as hard and you can relax after a long day at the slopes or a long day at the office. And the level three autonomy doesn't just work on the road, it works off-road as well, allowing you to spend less time worrying about navigating steep trails or tight turns while going off-road, and just really enjoy the scenery a little bit more. The R1T and its brother, the R1S, which is an SUV, uh, are both gonna be produced here in America in a Mitsubishi plant located in Southern Illinois, and will re both will retail for between $50,000 and $70,000 when they become available for sale midpoint of 2020. For the brief amount of time that I've seen this, I've already come away very impressed with the R1T. Uh, if I had $50,000, I would totally get one myself. But until then, I'm just gonna have to sit here and stare at it at the LA Auto Show.